Ended up the track, keeps going, looking for a camel. Just walking along the track in the sun, and I thought earlier, I wonder if we'd find any, or see any, but so much wind blown sand, they would have disappeared. There's a tektite just sitting on the middle of the middle of the track that's been driven across. Just there amongst the wildflowers. Alright, just back to the car. Two o'clock. And now we've got to tackle the loose sand out. We managed to turn around okay just here. Just heading back. The sand's dried out quite a lot, so we need to This is a, one of those Mickey Mouse memorials. It's actually a memorial to the joining of the railways, probably from both directions. There's mention of Jack Pollard on the map. He's the only guy who walked on the whole, worked on the whole track. But this uh, obscenity is because it's made out of plywood and the rails on the top are wooden and it's uh, beyond its use by date already. So it deserves a place in the record book for a... I should have used rolling stock, a bogey, and rule tracks. I'm not sure what this means, Tennessee. Nobody got their steel from Tennessee. when 
a, a committee must have uh, designed it. They used DHP and uh, Tennessee steel. So the join is in the middle there. So we'll go up and see if we can see the, the join and the track. Well, in addition to being the, the longest straight, it's probably the windiest straight. Well, there's the last curve and the line looking east as the cloud goes by. Side of the, the track, we're on the north side, and it's bumpy, stony. So we're going to find a crossover. There's actually another bit of curve there. So, in the straight where I'm standing near the sign, there's actually is still another curve. Yeah, there's the memorial on the line, we're at Watson now, and this is the Seal Road going north. Maralinga, the uh, tracking station, the, the bomb site. So there's the seal road going up to the Maralinga test track. Blowing a gale again. We just saw a guy in his Toyota Troopy driving along the railway line. The Troopy went that way. And there's another mobile phone tower. We're going to cross over and go along the south side now. So through the, the pepper trees is the telegraph line going up to, to Maralinga. Just beside the railway track there's some Kingdom of Thailand Royal Porcelain. Six, six. Just crossing the, the longest straight in the world. Following the uh, Tolstra line, buried up here. Another tracks over there. Much of a road. It's about five days It's still, still rocky. You got to watch the, the diff, the diff from the tyres and the sharp rocks on the edges. And then you get there's a little spiky bit there. And then you get the nice straight bit. We can speed up. Get up to forty. Until the next. Uh, next bit of uh, a bump then we'll get a, a wet patch maybe. Now the Crystal Highway past more rocks and then the glass. This is our Mallee. Our Mallee must have had a... This is the lower class on Mallee. Must have had a pub. 
Well, it's still a shocking track. Well, we went off onto the side track, and we we're just, and it was nice and smooth. And then I was driving back onto the left, back onto the track. I said, "Oh, this is no good." And there's a big boulder like that. We right had the, the track. yeah. It's seven o'clock our time. I'm not sure what it is central time here. Very flat, windy, and we're looking for a shed to stay in. We might have to stay beside the shed unless it's been knocked down. Down there is the air highway. Cars going back. The noise disappears quite quickly. Well, another train went by a while ago and flashed its lights at us and tooted. We're here in a windy spot. There's a little car on rails going back again. Not much traffic out here today. And these tyres just skidding on the the track, so we don't expect to see a train now for a little bit. We tried to get a shelter from this solar powered mobile phone tower. It wasn't room for two. It was a nice spot for Stuart Edwards. Yes, he must have been very pleased to have got here, poor old Stuart. I can't imagine what the road was like then, although it might have been newer. This is a little bit of clay pan where we can get up to 50 k's or nearly 60. nearly 60 after lots and lots of gear. fourth gear first time for how long all day, all day yesterday it's starting to get a bit rocky again it's nasty and city as sharp rocks poke out it's a fiber optic trench on our left fiber optic cable trench on our left. And a little patch that's not too 